Hello everybody, and uh, this is just a review of a new uniform that I have acquired on eBay. The seller labeled it as the WZ09 um, winter clothes. Now, this is the jacket that the Russians used in the in, um, annexation of Crimea. So you see, you got the singular one pocket and on that side the two large bottom pockets here and the two side slanted pockets on either side now this jacket is very hard to find um, this one guy was selling them on eBay for $165 for the jacket and the pants here, along with the winter liners, which I'll show you later. Now, this set also has the large roll-up collar that you see in uh, a lot of the pictures, and I'll show you a couple of them now. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, I'll show you the uh, inside of the jacket. The inside of the jacket is rather plain. Um, you have this, again, singular, small internal pocket here. And the zipper for the liners you also have these elastic adjustment straps that go through the uniform and you can button those tighter or looser on either side and then you have the zipper you also have this kind of velcro flap that the liner connects to and then this kind of nylon -y brown material um, I bought this a little too big, it's a 60-5, which is giant, and, um, you can see if you can read that, 2012 it was, is when it was made. I can't read Russian, I'll probably put that into Google Translate and post it in the description to see what it says, but, yeah. Now for the inside of the pants... The outside of the pants, let's start with that. Um, you have two side pockets here. Pretty large Velcro pockets. And at the bottom here, you have a zip up uh, side there. And the pants come with suspenders, almost like a Gorka kind of thing, that uh, Velcro onto here. And for the inside, you know, you got this, um, these are also 60S5, and this is a um, fabric, it's not like the nylon stuff. There's those two, and this does not have any bottom pockets, so nothing there. And the inside is just the uh, kind of outside fabric, just <laughs> the inside of it. Doesn't exactly feel the best on uh, bare skin, so I'm probably going to get some like long underwear when I wear these. This is kind of a rubbery material almost like what's inside my uh, rd54 and so now i will show you liners so let me go get okay them. now onto the liners so these are um again a nylon-y material almost like the inside of the jacket these kind of feel like um these are pretty puffy i don't know what's inside of them but they're quite nice, insulated material. 
also a 60s5 made in 2012 and these like I said zip into the uniform and I'll show you a picture of that now okay so these arm cuffs have this sort of um Ooh, I don't know. Nice warm uh, cloth here. And this is pretty nice. And you can actually wear this as a coat. So it can zip all the way up. I mean, it looks weird, but you can wear it separately. So that's nice. Then to the pants, the uh, it's the same material. Also, of course, it's 60-5, 2012. And it buttons into the uh, pants around the waistband. It has these buttons. And you just pop them in. And I'll show you a picture of that now. Okay, so now that we got all this out of the way, is this a good set of clothes? I believe so. I feel like it's comparative to the um, uh, M65 field jacket kind of system with the uh, removable liner that goes inside of it and kind of the way that it attaches. Well, actually, no, not the way it attaches. This is a pretty modern system of attachment with the whole zipper thing but anyway thanks for watching have a good day and see you in the next video bye